Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Capper's Corner with WinnersandWinners.com. This installment, we're going to be looking at an NBA match between the Washington Wizards and the Boston Celtics. This article is written by our own sporty Jory. Check out his piece on WinnersandWinners.com for in-depth analysis. But for his picture on this matchup, he actually likes the Wizards plus the 10.5 to cover the spread. A couple reasons why. The main reason is because of the fact that the Celtics have absolutely nothing to play for, and they should be very incentivized to rest all of their key players. Uh, the Celtics have already clinched the three seed in the East, so they already know that where they're going to be. And for that reason, the worst thing you can do is force your starters to get uh, to play and to potentially suffer a serious injury, especially with Kembo's been dealing with some knee issues. Hayward has had some injury issues in the past. Tatum's been great. Brown's been great. There's really no reason why you need them to play at all against the Wizards. So he simply thinks that the Wizards, even though they have gone winless so far in the bubble, he simply thinks that 10 naps a bit too many points for the Celtics to be laying when there's a decent chance that none of their starters are going to be playing in this game. So for that reason, with motivation, as the Wizards are going to try to do whatever they can to not go winless in the bubble, while the Celtics are going to be doing whatever they can to rest up for the playoffs, he thinks that there's a little bit of value here with the Wizards plus 10.5. And, and once again, this article is written by our own Sporty Jordy. That's in this installment of Capper's Corner with winners of A good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.